everyone. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to be here with you today to show you my six beauty hacks that you can use instantly to look more beautiful. And I don't look as maybe beautiful as I hopefully can sometimes right now because I've not done some of the hacks and I'll be showing them to you in real time so you can see how they work. But first I did want to show you my outfit that I'm wearing today and all of my jewelry. Most everything is from Amazon. I absolutely love this black halter tee. You've seen it probably a million times. I really like this alphabet necklace set and I've had it for over a year and it still looks just great. It is gold filled. And almost all my other jewelry is from Amazon. And I did want to point out my Levi 724 straight leg jeans. These are my favorite jeans and I get them on Amazon. They're absolutely wonderful and a wonderful switch from the skinnies we've all been in for the last two or three years. And I did want to show you the shoes that I have on my feet. And these are dream pair shoes. And if you've been following my channel and my Shop With Me Saturdays videos, you know that I've been wearing lots and lots of these dream pairs and I love them. Number one, dream pairs are known to be super comfortable. They all have this padded footbed, which is really, truly wonderful. But there is something about these sandals that I absolutely love. And in the picture, you can see them in both colors, the nude color and the tan, they call it, although I think this is cognac and I love this color. And I absolutely love these sandals so much that I've also ordered them in black because I saw a YouTuber and I cannot remember her name. It was some sort of YouTuber, a fashion YouTuber from London, I think. And she had some sandals almost exactly like this. It has the very trending square toe, which I think looks beautiful on your feet. I have size 10 boats, basically. And my feet even look good in these sandals, which is amazing. And I know I'll use them a lot through spring and throughout the summer. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe to my channel and or give me a thumbs up. That would really help this video and I would really appreciate that. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get into the six beauty hacks that can instantly make you more beautiful. And I will show them on me because I need a little help right now. I don't have a lot of the beauty hacks on my face that I will be showing you. And before I get started, I did want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is City Beauty. And if you followed my channel, you know that I absolutely love City Beauty products. One thing I like about them is that unlike a lot of other skincare products that just promise you, you know, you have to use them for weeks or months to see results, with the City Beauty products, most of them have an instant success feature where whatever you're trying to do, if you're trying to firm your skin or reduce wrinkles, you do get an almost instant effect with their products. And then they also produce long-term results over time, which is truly wonderful. And before I get into six beauty hacks to make you more beautiful instantly, I did want to thank City Beauty, who is the sponsor of this video. And if you followed my channel, you know I absolutely love City Beauty products. I use lots of their skincare and I certainly use their lip products, which I'll be discussing with you in just a few minutes. And one of the things I like best about City Beauty is number one, all of their skincare is backed by true scientific research. It's all backed by science, but unlike some other skincare lines, which make you wait weeks or even months to see any results at all, with most of the City Beauty skincare products, there is almost an instantaneous result. So if it's a skin firming product, your skin firms up within the first use or so, and it is wonderfully gratifying. And if it's a product designed to reduce wrinkles, the same thing is in effect. You will get an instant sense of gratification that with whatever beauty issue you have, you do see some kind of instant results. And then over time, the real scientific research kicks in and you see some long-term results, which is equally as gratifying. So you get instant results plus long-term results. And best of all, they back all of their products with a 60-day bottom of the jar money back guarantee. So if you use any City Beauty products and they don't work out, you have two months to try them and you can send them back, no questions asked. But I do have to say their products are so great that I'm sure they don't get many returns or they would not have such an all-encompassing money-back guarantee. Okay, the reason City Beauty is sponsoring this video is they did send me a great new product which is being launched right now. And with my discount code MAY30, if you follow the links below, you'll get 30% off the City Beauty products site-wide and the reason they asked me to touch base with you today is because they just unveiled a totally new product which answers a need many of us have, including me, and that is marionette lines. 
these wonderful little lines that we get as we get older. We get little wrinkles along here. Also nasal folds. And I have been using this product for about the past two weeks and I am really loving the results. And before I demonstrate this product, I did want to show you the ingredients. The Ultrafill Marionette Line Treatment includes sesame extract, an extract that supports the look of youthful facial contours around the nose and mouth by enhancing the look of volume and plumpness. It also has four types of hyaluronic acid to add moisture to the skin to give you a plumper, more elastic look to your skin. And lastly, it includes a structural peptide complex and this ingredient supports the appearance of skin firmness and elasticity helping to minimize the look of lines wrinkles and sad expressions and I totally know what they're talking about because lately when I've been walking around it's like you know just when I when I'm not making an expression people and look you can see it people say are you mad are you sad and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just kind of looking like a sad old lady because I didn't have anything particularly on my mind. And you know, it's impossible to go around, you know, trying to think happy thoughts all the time just to just to turn up the corners of your mouth. And I'll come in a little closer. And what you do is you take a little of the Ultra Fill treatment, and there it is. And it just looks a little bit like foundation there. And I'll start over here, and I can see a lot of wrinkles here. And basically, what I do is I do not wrinkle up my skin when I'm patting this in. I pat it in and I also put it in my nasal fold area. But I will say, I think it does a beautiful job on the marionette lines and I really haven't seen too much of a difference at all on my nasal folds. So here I'll put some on the other side. Whoa. Kind of keep your face a little bit stationary as it is drying. Because you want your skin to dry, not wrinkled. And let me put a little bit in that nasal fold area. Some days I think I can see a little improvement in the nasal folds and others I really don't think I do. But the marionette lines is where I really think I'm seeing the difference. And you do have to wait and let that dry for a moment. It's not quite dry. Okay, it's all dry now. And I really think it has smoothed out the contours of my skin very nicely. I had a ton of little tiny wrinkles over here and they really don't seem to be as deep. Of course, I still have the major ones, but in terms of all the smaller ones, they seem to get really blurred out with this. And I've noticed that when I apply this in the morning, it's probably maybe about four or five o'clock in the evening before I feel the necessity to apply it again. And I can't tell you the number of times that women in the comment section have said, Beth, what can I do for marionette lines? And I never had anything to give them. And let me know in the comments section if you can see an increase in smoothness in the marionette line area. I really think I do. But let me know about that and also in the nasal fold area. And again, I'm not so sure that it works very well on my nasal folds. It is a fill product, so it does slightly fill in those wrinkles. And I just think the nasal folds for me may be too deep to really show a difference on this. And again, this product is 30% off during the sale using the discount code May 30th. And if you need some other ideas about City Beauty products that I really love that you might like to check out, the first is the Skin Lifting Booster. And I won't apply this today because basically you mix it with your foundation on the back of your hand and then you apply your foundation. And as the name implies, Skin Lifting Booster, it actually has a boosting effect on your skin. And again, it has that instant plumping boosting effect. And then over time, I really think it helps the skin look firmer. Great product. And I have a video demonstrating this and I will link that below. And to try to deal with the wrinkles and turkey neck sagginess on my neck, I have been using two products for about the past six months and I'll link a video showing my before and after results using these products below. And I have to say that I discovered the Invisicrate Body Balm for use on the neck because I saw Pretty Over 50 had a video and her turkey neck just almost went away using this. And that's what got me into this. And I have to admit, I absolutely love it. And these two seem to work very well to firm that area. And again, my neck is not perfect, but I think it has greatly improved using these products. Now, those City Beauty products were part of beauty hack number one, which is reducing facial wrinkles. I really think they help to firm your skin and to reduce wrinkles. I am so impressed with that marionette line treatment because I usually have tons of little wrinkles along here, especially because I'm a little on the light side right now. Being on the carnivore diet, I've lost weight, and so that makes all the wrinkles show more. And I really love this marionette line product because my marionette lines almost look non-existent, which is wonderful. And I do have one more product that I'm going to be showing you as part of hack number one. I love this product, but stick around because I have a few more other products I need to show you before I apply this. 
This is a blurring powder from Charlotte Tilbury, which is like magic to blur the imperfections on your face, but keep that in mind. I'll be back to that. Now, the second beauty hack I have is to euthanize your lips. Ooh, that sounded bad. Euthanize? That mean that would mean to kill them. No. And the second beauty hack is to age-proof your lips. And for those of you who are in my age range, and I am 65, just turned 65, just became Medicare eligible about three weeks ago. That was kind of a shocker, I have to admit. But as we get older, our lips shrink, unfortunately. They lose their plumpness and elasticity. And also we can get a lot of little tiny lip lines around our lips. Even if we're not smokers, it can look like we have smoker wrinkles around our mouth. And about a year ago, I started really noticing that I was having age-related problems with my lips and I started using the City Beauty products. And actually this one is only about six months old and I love it. And as you can tell, I am near the bottom of the bottle on this. And before starting to use the City Lips Night Oil, which I did start again about six months ago. In fact, I'll go ahead and put it on now. It is fabulous. I'm kind of addicted to it. It is just a beautiful, super hydrating, super moisturizing oil. It has ingredients in it that plump your lips and really smooth the look of any wrinkles you have around your mouth. But before starting to use this about six months ago, and as you can tell, that's six months of heavy use and it really does last a long time. But before that, I was using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and I really like this one. And in fact, this one is almost gone after a year of use and I actually bought another full size version which now makes me very sad because instead of using this, I really find myself going to this product. And demand for this lip oil was so high that right now it is out of stock and it won't be re-released until June. But if you follow the link I have below the video and kind of check this out, you can leave your email there and they will notify you when it's back in stock. And I think this one is truly wonderful. If you want your lips to look more line free and plump and just younger looking, absolutely love this product. And there are two other City Beauty lip products that I use religiously. And the first is the City Lips Clear Plumping Gloss. And I use this pretty much before any other lip color I apply. At the start of my makeup, I will apply this because then in the 10 minutes or so it takes to apply the rest of my makeup, my lips are just a little bit more plump, a little bit more juicy, and my lipstick goes on beautifully. And over time, I really do think that this has a plumping effect. And one of my favorite lip glosses ever is the City Lips Lip Gloss in the color San Diego. And I'll go ahead and put that on now. I absolutely love this. And this actually has the same lip plumping ingredients as the Clear Gloss. And look at that. That is absolutely a lovely, lovely color. I even wear this alone on bare lips and it looks like I'm fully made up. It's beautiful. And this is totally great when you put on a lip color and for some reason it doesn't look right. It looks a little too strident, a little too wah wah. This totally calms it down. It's a little bit of a peach with a little gold fleck to it. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, it gives you kind of a sun drenched effect. I guess that's why they call it San Diego. It has that California girl type look. And no matter what lip color you use, I think adding the San Diego gloss over it makes it just that much more beautiful. Now, beauty hack number three is to brighten dark eyes. And I really don't look very good right now because as you can tell, I have a lot of darkness in the corners of my eyes. I have big under eye circles that I always fight. As I've gotten older and older, the darkness around my eyes just seems to increase. And if you followed my channel, you know that I love this Pixie by Petra product. And I probably used this for maybe a year and a half. And this is only the second little jar. It's maybe 12 or $14 and it lasts forever. But it is a peach corrector. See that? That's a beautiful skin tone color like peach. And what peach does is it nulls out the black. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the corners of my eyes. See that? See how that just kind of makes that black just blend right in? It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. And then on the other side, that is very, very pretty. Ah, I'm getting it everywhere. And as you can see, it really has significantly brightened those inner corners. Now I'm also going to use it in these bags under my eyes. And I'm just using a little BK Beauty brush. I love her brushes, they're phenomenal. This one is an Angie Kitten Foot brush, I think it's called. And see how that has taken that darkness right away? This product is wonderful. Now I'm going to attack the other side here. It's a little hard to do here because this is not my makeup mirror. So I hope it looks okay out there. I hope you can see what I'm seeing. And then sometimes I just go in and kind of pat it with my fingers to use the heat of my skin to kind of blend it in a little bit. 
and notice how that peach corrector has sort of brightened up that area. And next I'll go in with my under eye concealer and I've been using this Lancome Tint Eye Dual Ultra Wear Concealer, which is just wonderful. And I basically just take a little tiny bit under each eye and I will list the color below. It is so small on the vial that I can't see it. That's one negative of passing 60 is you can't see anymore. You start to go semi-blind, cancel, cancel. Ooh, I got some, some of that on my, on my lips. So that's how that looks so far. And I'm going to go in and brighten up the under eye area with this Essence Brighten Up Powder. I actually did a video about this under eye brightening powder versus a Charlotte Tilbury version. And the Charlotte Tilbury one was like 50 bucks and this is like $5 and this one won. It is a truly great brightening powder. And what I do is I just take that little BK Beauty brush and then I just kind of dab it under there just to set that a bit and just to bring a little more brightness to that area. And as you can see, it just gave me a little subtle amount of brightness there, nothing too obvious, which is good. Now it's time to go back to beauty hack number one on reducing facial wrinkles or facial imperfections of all type, really. That's what this little guy does. This is a wonder working powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And there is something truly magical about this powder. I have used it for about two and a half years now. This is maybe the fifth pad of this powder that I have had. One of them I broke, which is no fun because I think the thing is $45, but it lasts a good long time if you don't break it. And I truly think it does blur out wrinkles. And in fact, lately I've stopped using any kind of loose powders at all. I just have this pressed powder in my makeup area and I'll show it to you. Um, there it is and it, it does come with a pad. Actually, I put the pad in there because I used to carry this in my purse but they actually have a smaller version, which is very tiny, and my purses have gotten tinier, so I also have the small version in my purse. But let me go ahead and get a little of this powder for you, and just look at, let's, let's just start here. See how it just blurs. It just blurs any imperfections. It just blurred that area beautifully. Maybe I'll put some down here, although I think that marionette line filler really did a good job of that area. And let's try the nasal fold here. You know, I almost think the Charlotte Tilbury blurring powder works where maybe that marionette line filler didn't work, which is my nasal folds. I think they really do look better. And I'm going to go ahead and use this to reset the area around my eyes. And then I also use this powder all over my T-zone. Everything's kind of greasy up there. And I just keep it in the T-zone. And sometimes I even bring it down on my neck, but I'm really not sure that anything will help my neck. Maybe it blurred it a little bit. I think maybe it did. But this is an absolutely gorgeous powder and of all Charlotte Tilbury's wonderful products, I truly think this is the best product she has because it makes a wonderful difference in how you look every morning. Something in this powder just blurs out imperfections and it just gives your face a more smooth porcelain look because just a few minutes ago, you could see I had quite a few imperfections and now it looks like my skin is fairly flawless and it really isn't. It is just this fantastic powder. Now, beauty hack number four is actually a hair hack and it has to do with the fact that we get grayer and grayer as we age. And in fact, I am having my hair colored within the next week. I can't remember the day, but I'm really starting to get some grays up there. I'm going to show you this product, but unfortunately I was so sick of my grays that I used it yesterday. And so I don't know that you'll see much of a change, but I've used several different root cover powders to cover up the gray. And my sister actually gave me this one for my birthday, which was a complete surprise because usually we just get each other cards and maybe take each other out to lunch on our birthday. But this is the Bumble and Bumble Blondish Hair Powder, and it comes in a lot of different colors, actually. Of course it would. But, but let me show you how it works. And basically it just deposits a little bit of the blonde color in the root area. Let me put a little bit back here. And then I just let it dry for a few moments and then I wait and then I fluff up my hair just a little bit where the roots are and it really does blend in the grays. This is the best root cover product I have found to cover your grays. Okay, my fifth beauty hack involves our feet and keeping them looking well-groomed, well-pedicured and just lovely. And I have actually stopped getting pedicures at my manicure place because you know my nails cost a lot and I've been doing these eyelash extensions and they cost something too. So I've kind of gotten rid of getting the pedicures professionally done. And so I've been doing home pedicures instead. And one of the most important things I've been doing is I've been using this little pedicure device at home on my feet. And in fact, most mornings I kind of run this over my heels anyway, if not my callous toes, because as we get older, unless we really pay attention to our feet, 
They really get old and grubby looking and mine are horrible actually. Some people never get calluses and their feet just look gorgeous their entire lives. My sister is someone like that. Her feet just look like baby's feet. They're absolutely beautiful. But for me, ever since I was really in my teens, I have my father's feet and I would walk around barefoot a lot. I remember when I was a teenager and the calluses on the bottoms of my feet were so thick it almost looked like I was wearing sandals. And I have to say that mostly over the winter, I pretty much ignore my feet. And recently I started paying more attention to them and I was pretty horrified at the shape they were in. So I ordered this little tool and I really wish that I'd taken a video of the first time I used this, but I'll show you some video of how it works. And I do this maybe every other morning. <laughs> Have to be careful because if you overuse it you can go too far and cause your feet to bleed i haven't done that yet but i really love this because especially on those evenings when you're about to go out and you have sandals on and you notice the backs of your heels look pretty bad you can just take this and very quickly go over the edges and it removes that dead skin and those calluses and it really makes your feet look wonderful. And I have to admit that one of the reasons I stopped the professional pedicures was that I had such bad calluses that they would do their normal thing. I would leave having spent 60 or $70 for a pedicure and I would still have most of those calluses on my feet. And I have really found that now my feet are looking so much better now that I'm doing it at home because I remove my own calluses on almost a daily basis, which is just wonderful. And then another thing I've been doing is I've been using this Alpha Hydrox Extra Strength Deep Therapy Foot Cream. It is 12% AHA glycolic acid. And what you do is that you just slather this rich cream all over both of your feet and then you put little socks on. I think these happen to be spa socks, but you can actually use any cotton socks that you have at home and you sleep in them all night long. Sometimes I kick them off, I have to admit. And in the morning when I wake up, my feet just look soft and smooth and totally ready for sandals. And beauty hack number six is to check out the rear view. And what I mean by that is, I realized not too long ago that I always look at the front of myself and I think, oh, you look really good, Beth. You look just fine. You're ready to meet the day. And once in a while when I would do that and I would think, hey, you're looking pretty good, girl. Alan would say, you know, you need to check the back of your hair. There's something going on back there. And then I would take this little Walmart mirror, which I have in both areas, in my makeup room and in my bathroom. And when I looked at the back of my hair, I was horrified because the back of my hair, I don't know if you can see now, but it is actually very kinky and very wavy. The front of my hair is able to look smooth and sleek, but I really have to pay attention and really flat iron that hair in the back to get it to smooth out. And after Alan said that a couple times in one week, I thought, you know, I really do need to take a look at my back view. And so I got this little mirror and it's a little cheapy mirror that I bought from Walmart. I have one in my master bath and I have one here in the makeup room. And it took me a week or so to get used to it, but I got in the habit of actually looking at the back of my hair. And in terms of this beauty hack, it's important to check the back of your hair, but it's also important to check your rear view in terms of your butt. Because once I started looking back there, I realized that I had panty lines. And I thought, oh, I didn't realize I had panty lines. And I had used this same style of panties that I just loved. They were high-waisted black panties with lace around them. I thought they really looked great. And I had like 10 or 12 pairs of those. And I had worn them for maybe five or six years. And later in the day, that same day, I said to Alan, and I said to him, honey, do I have panty lines sometimes? And he said, Beth, you have panty lines about all the time. And he's so nice to me. He had never mentioned that. I wish he wouldn't be quite that nice. So that prompted me to go to Amazon and do a lot of research on no-show panties. They call them seamless panties. And I probably ordered four or five different pairs, different types. And I finally came upon these. And mostly I have them in black. I probably have eight pairs of the black and I just ordered some more of the cream. I only had one and I realized that I do wear white jeans. And so I really do need the cream ones. But they are by Bally and they're seamless panties and they really are as close to no show as anything I've ever found in the past. They are very comfortable and they have the high leg, which I think is very flattering looking. So if you're like me and your underwear drawer has been stuffed with the same 10 or 12 underpants for maybe four or five years, it may be time to get some new ones. And instead of just getting maybe eight or 10 pairs of general panties, 
and then just having one or two special panties that are no-show, I realized I really don't want those bumps and bulges to show at any point. And so this time after its overhaul, my underwear drawer now contains only no-show panties, which is super convenient. Okay, thanks to City Beauty for sponsoring that video, and thanks to all of you who watched my six beauty hacks to instantly make you more beautiful. And if you also have some beauty hacks you would like to share, I would love to hear about it in the comments section below the video, because that way we can all help each other. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and we've been talking about external beauty a lot in this video, and of course external beauty is quite fun, but internal beauty is equally as important. But this is a very simple thought for the day, and it involves sharing your beauty with others, helping them have a more beautiful day just because they interacted with you. And while it is nice to be beautiful, it is equally as important to be charming. In other words, to make others feel very good just to be in your presence. And one way to do that is to be conscious of smiling, and number one, that cuts down on that dour, sour look we all get as we age. If we don't think about anything, we're walking around just kind of looking around, not spreading joy, if you know what I mean. So the first thing as you're going through your day is to take as many opportunities as you can to smile at others throughout the day. Not only does your smile make them feel better, it also boosts you up too. And another way to be beautiful and charming from the inside out is to make others around you feel good. If we've done our beauty hacks, we feel pretty good about how we look. We feel pretty good about ourselves. And when we interact with others, let's try to shift the focus from ourselves to them. In other words, when they're speaking, let's try to really listen. Also, let's give them time to finish their statements before we jump on them. And I am particularly bad at this, and it is something I have to work on on a continual basis, is to give others the time they need to complete their thoughts and just to be a good listener. And you know, in this fast-paced, busy society, it is a true gift you can give another person to really listen to them and be interested in what they have to say. And if you have relationship hacks, conversation hacks to help others around you feel better, I hope you'll share the information in the comment section. That way we can help each other. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.